Go from your telescope, take me on this journey home. I don't wanna wait no more. Lay me down behind the moon, tell me you'll be on real soon. I don't wanna wait no more. We could be dancing in the stars, we could be floating all the way. As long as I'm safely in your arms. And it don't really matter where we stay Don't pass, babe Space makes me sad Cause Today we're gonna go through my primers As you guys can see I have a ton of things that I need to get rid of Things that are old and just things that I haven't really been paying attention I don't have any specific orders so I'm just gonna grab and then I'm gonna make two piles as per usual a pile with stuff that's brand new that's gonna go in a giveaway and a pile with things that are gently used or that I try it and I just didn't like I'll donate that to friends and family so we're gonna start with pore filling primers the first ones I have are these three by Revlon I have the prime plus perfecting and smoothing primer and then I have another one by the same line prime plus mattifying and pore reducing now these two are actually really good if you just want to blur out the pores this one it's actually a really nice choice is from the drugstore i have other primers that i like more i'm not saying this one is not good but i'd rather to pass this one to other people because i've already tried it and it's good i it does the job but it's not my favorite so that one is gonna go this one however it helps you to minimize the pores but this is more for somebody that has a very oily skin because it does help you to kind of mattify everything and it does help your makeup last a lot longer i really do enjoy it but i have other ones that i prefer over this one so this one is also gonna go this one is the revlon photo ready pore reducing primer it's really good it does help you to throw out the pores and it it just leaves your skin looking very nice and perfected so this is what it looks like and then as you start blending it out obviously i put way too much blurred everything and it makes everything look very nice and smooth it also helps your foundation last a lot longer so out of the three from Revlon I prefer to keep this one and I'm gonna be passing the other two to somebody else the next one is this Catrice one minute perfector now this one when you open it up it actually looks like a foundation i thought it was gonna have color or a tint but as you guys can see it's colorless this one is really good for the pores and it's also really good if you have more mature skin the consistency on this one it's more whipped and it's a little bit more airy than the other one so this one if you have very mature skin i think this would be perfect for you because it's not heavy it's not greasy or anything like that it just makes your skin look very smooth if you don't want to apply anything else and just apply something to blur out the fine lines or the pores this one it's really good and it goes i think it's around six dollars or so so i am gonna keep this one this one has been one of my favorites lately this is the makeup forever step one smoothing primer now if you follow me for a while you know that i'm a huge huge fan of the mattifying version of this one when i finished the mattifying one it was more towards the winter time so i wanted to try something that wasn't as mattifying that it was more blurring and that it was going to help my makeup last a lot longer so I decided to try this one I've only used it a few times so I can't really give you an opinion on it because I haven't used it as long as I would like to so this one is gonna stay the next one is this one by makeup revolution and this is the per blur blur and prime primer this one if you follow me for a while you know that I've been using it in a lot of my videos and it's actually very similar to the Revlon one as you guys could see it has the exact same consistency they don't have any silicone they feel more creamy and they go on the skin very very nicely and I also like this because I've tested a lot of foundations with this primer and I never noticed that it balls up or anything like that so that's one of the reasons why I continue to reach for it so this one it's gonna stay the next one that I have here is the touch and sew no pore blend primer I've been having it for such a long time and I love it this is one of my 
favorite pro blurring primers as you guys could see i used a ton and this is actually my third bottle of it i've used it with so many different foundations i use it alone there has been times where i only want to apply concealer but i do like to apply this to kind of blur out the pores and it looks amazing it lasts a very very long time it's not silicone or anything like that it's a very thin consistency it looks more like a gel type and you blend it out and same it helps to blur out the pores just in general helps your foundation last a little bit longer and if you don't know me i like to target prime so i use multiple different primers for multiple different things so since i do have more of a combination skin i love to use pore blurring primers for my t-zone or like my cheeks or sometimes i use them for my fine lines and my forehead so i love to use this kind of products which is the reason why I have so many of them and then I use other things depending on the weather and depending on what type of foundation I'm gonna be wearing so that's another reason why I like to have a lot of different primers but this one is my all-time favorite it's not a drugstore but it's also not a high-end primer so it falls right in the middle at around 18 or 17 dollars so that's another reason why i really enjoy it the last one that i have here is the pore professional by benefit now this has been out for such a long time i continue to repurchase it every now and then it's a good primer but i've been testing other primers that i like a little bit more so i do have a brand new one of this one but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just finish the one I have. As you guys can see, it's almost gone. And I'm going to put the brand new one in a giveaway. So now we're going to move to the hydrating primers. The first one I have here is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin and Rich Face Base. This one has a very citrusy scent. This one has more the consistency of a moisturizer. So you apply it, you blend it, and then as it dries down, it gives you a little bit of that tacky finish but it also helps it to hydrate the skin it has really good ingredients i really enjoy it especially during the winter time if you have very very dry skin i would recommend something like this because it does help you stay hydrated throughout the day so this one is gonna stay the next one i have here is this one by touch and salt and this is the pretty filter glassy skin balm and this one is also like a moisturizer i don't know if you guys could see it but i'm almost out of it this has a very jelly consistency it goes on so smoothly and it just overall helps you to hydrate the skin it does give you a little bit of that glass skin effect it makes your skin look very juicy very hydrated and i like it i don't think that it helps your makeup stay longer i think this is more of a skincare type of product because it does help your skin feel a lot more hydrated so that's one of the reasons why i reach for it especially on the days that i'm not gonna wear any makeup this is my, one of my go-to so that one i'm just gonna finish it up the next one i have here is this by Too Faced, and this is the hangover go-to skin perfector spf 25 moisturizer this one has coconut water probiotic and it protects you against the uva and UVB rays. I like this especially when I'm in a hurry and I don't have time to apply moisturizer and then sunscreen. This is one of my go-tos. As you guys can see I'm completely out of it. I actually bought this twice already and i do like it i think it's really good for those days that you're just running errands and you're not gonna be out for a long time spf 25 I, I think it's really good i think i should put that one in my empties video the next one i have here is this one by Too Faced, and this is the Too Faced hangover replenishing face primer this one also has coconut water it's very hydrating I believe they're the same thing. The only difference is that one has SPF and the other one doesn't. But other than that, it's very nourishing. As you guys can see, it leaves my skin very, very dewy. So this one I do like to apply all over the skin. Even if I'm going to do any pore blurring primer or anything like that, I generally like to apply this all over the face. So this one is going to stay. The next one I have here is my Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. This is another one one that i'm like halfway there this one has really nice ingredients like hyaluronic acid which helps your skin stay hydrated and the reason why i really enjoy this is because of its consistency it's literally like a water so when you apply it and you blend it it just helps your skin feel and look very hydrated and as it dries down it gives you a little bit of that tacky feeling which helps to adhere anything that you might apply on top 
so overall i think this one it's really good as you guys can see i've used it a ton and i continue to reach for it especially during the winter months another one that it's very similar is the ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic acid primer it has the same consistency the only difference is that the color pop is just a little bit thicker than the smashbox the pretty fresh is a pretty good dupe for the photo finish primerizer as well as the Too Faced hangover so if you were curious about any of the these two the color pop is a pretty good dupe for any of these the next one i have here is the tarte double duty beauty base tape so this one is a hydrating primer and i got this in one of my boxy charms and i haven't had a chance to play with it so this one i am gonna keep another hydrating primer is this one by wet and wild prime focus primer serum and as you guys can see i've used quite a ton of it i love the consistency on this primer as you guys can see it's very liquidy so it is very hydrating and it doesn't add any extra texture or anything to the skin it absorbs pretty easily and it leaves your skin just feeling very nice and hydrated the only downside to this is that it has some type of sheen kind of like sparkle it's not very noticeable but you can definitely tell i personally don't mind it i normally just apply this and then on top i do my little concoction of all my other primers but if you are somebody that it's completely against shimmer or anything like that, you might not like this. Last two hydrating primers that I have here are these two by Smashbox. Photo Finish Vitamin Glow Primer. And this one is the Smashbox Mindful Nourishing Face Primer. These two, I got them in a bundle, but I haven't had a chance to play with them. So this ones are going to stay. Okay, so now the next primer that I have here, this one is the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. I had totally forgotten i have this i have not tried it yet this one has vitamin c and banana powder inspired pigments so this one i'm gonna leave in my table so that i can make sure that i try it so that one it's gonna stay the next one i have here is the lancome la base pro now this primer is actually a more silicone primer and i've noticed that those primers don't tend to work for my skin so even though i did give it a good shot i used a lot of it this one i'm just gonna give it a Way because it's not something that I reach for it's not something that I enjoy and I notice that my skin tends to get very oily when I do use products like this so this one I'm gonna declutter the next one is this one by Maybelline this is the master primer and this one it's another one that it's a silicone base don't think I've used this but I it doesn't have the little seal on it so I'm just gonna declutter this and give it to friends and family like I told you guys this kind of primer is don't really work for me so i'd rather to give it to somebody else that might use it and give it more love the next one i have here is this one the elf poreless face primer as you guys saw i have a lot of this um, pore filling primers and i really don't need any more so this one is brand new so this one is gonna go in a giveaway the next one i have here is the cover effects luring primer i forgot about this one i don't think i've used it and if i use it i only used it once so i am gonna leave it in my collection just to try it the next one i have here is the elf jelly pop dupe primer this one is a pretty close dupe to the milk makeup hydro grip primer but i honestly don't reach for these at all i also don't reach for the milk makeup one so this one i'm gonna declutter i don't think it's a bad primer i just really don't reach for them in that sense the one that's my favorite is this one by nyx this is the bear with me primer and this one is also a jelly primer and i've used this quite a while as you guys could see i've used it in a lot of my videos and i actually do prefer this one over the elf jelly primer and also the milk makeup hydro grip only because i find that this one the consistency it's a lot thinner so it doesn't feel as heavy on the skin so that's the reason why i'm just getting rid of that one because i honestly don't reach for it and i don't like it i prefer to use this one so this one is gonna stay the next one i have here is the smashbox photo finish oil and shine control primer this one it's brand new i've never tried this i like to use this type of oil and shine control primers for the summertime so this one i'm gonna keep i'm just gonna put it in 
the back of my drawer and I probably just switch them around once the seasons change. The next one I have here is the Farsali Liquid Powder Oil Balancing Serum. Now I actually did a review on this product way back when and I just feel like this product is a complete gimmick. They sell it as if you have very oily skin, it's supposed to keep you matte throughout the day. You're supposed to shake it up really good. And then when you open it up, it comes out in a like very liquidy form. And then as it dries, it dries more into a powder. I don't know if you guys could see it. It creates kind of like a powdery finish once it dries in your skin. Supposed to have pink clay or something like that on it, but honestly, I didn't find that it mattified my skin. I didn't find that it made my makeup last a lot longer. In fact, I found that it made oilier faster. So for me, even though I use a ton of this product, I don't know if you guys could see it, but I actually use half of it. So I didn't think this product worked, at least not for me. I didn't think it was true, the claims that it had. I know that there are a lot of other people that do enjoy it, but for me, it's not something that I reach for. I don't think it works and I don't think it's worth the money. So for me, this one, I am gonna declutter it because just thinking about it makes me upset. The next one I have here is the Huda Beauty Complex perfection pre-makeup base it does help you hydrate the skin and it has more of that tacky finish so it helps to adhere everything pretty good it doesn't make your skin oily or anything like that and overall i think it's a really nice primer so this one is gonna stay the next one i have here is the fenty beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. I actually have a review on the entire Fenty Beauty line, so I'm not gonna talk too much about it, but I really do enjoy it, so this one is gonna stay. Now for dewy primers, I have my Becca Black Light Primer. This is a very dewy primer, and as you guys can see, I've used quite a, a lot of this product. I actually really like it, especially to mix it with more full coverage, matte finish foundations. I find that combining with something like this helps to give a really nice natural finish, and it overall looks very, very pretty. So this one is definitely going to stay. Like I told you guys, this is one of my all-time favorite primers. The next one I have here is the Glossier Future Dew Oil Serum Hybrid. Now, this one is actually a very interesting product because when it first comes out, it looks like this. It's not glitter, but it's actually very glowy and it's more on the thicker side. It does feel kind of like a very thick oil or kind of like the jelly primer. It feels very, very interesting. Once you blend it, it gives your skin this beautiful kind of like glass skin effect and it looks very, very pretty. If you have very dry skin, I would definitely recommend this because as you guys could see, look at my hand. It looks so glowy and juicy and it's just very, very nice. The only thing with this product is that obviously if you have more oily skin, I wouldn't recommend it. If you have more of a combination skin, I think this would be perfect just for the areas where you're the most dry. But for the rest of your face, I wouldn't recommend it to use it. But if you have very, very dry skin, this would be perfect because it just gives you such nice glow. And once your skin absorbs it, it just looks so darn beautiful i am obsessed with the finish of it but like i said i have more combination skin so i have to be careful whenever i use this definitely different to anything that i own so this one is definitely gonna stay another becca primer is this becca first light priming filter this one same i've used quite a ton and the reason why i like this is especially for those days when your skin needs that extra pick me up it has that lavender color that it helps to just simply neutralize your skin makes your skin look and feel so hydrated and overall it helps with the appearance of anything whether you're gonna use makeup or not i just think that this is one of those products that everybody needs in their collection because 
it just helps your skin look so much better this one is definitely gonna stay the next one i have here is this one by farsali this is the liquid glass radiant serum with hyaluronic acid this one is actually brand new as you guys can see i still have the plastic on it i have not tried it just yet so this one is gonna stay the next thing i have here is the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter as you guys could see i've used a ton of this product and i honestly love it it's one of my favorite products mine already smells pretty bad so i think it's expired but overall this product is amazing i love the glow that it gives the skin i love how you can use it under makeup over makeup on its own it's a very very versatile product i have mine in the shade three light medium but as you guys could see you apply it and then you blend it and it gives your skin such nice sheen to it it's kind of like you're wearing literally a filter I got this like about three years ago so it's time for me to let it go but if you are looking for something like this i would definitely recommend it another one that's very similar i would definitely say that these two are dupes is the nyx wear with me radiant perfecting primer and this is what it looks like this one also has such beautiful finish to the skin so as you guys saw i applied the charlotte tilbury on the bottom of my hand and i applied the next one the next one just doesn't have a color as the charlotte tilbury one gives you a little bit of a color like a little bit of coverage whereas the one from nyx doesn't necessarily give you any color it's mainly just a sheen but they are actually very similar, like in terms of finish and whatnot. I've used the next one quite a while as well, and I really do enjoy it. I would say that if you've never tried the Charlotte Tilbury, I would recommend you to try this one first and see if that's something that you like. If you try the Charlotte Tilbury one and you really like it and are looking for an alternative for this expensive product, I would definitely recommend the next one. The next one is actually very, very good. I don't think I would repurchase is the charlotte tilbury one only because like i said this one is a it gives you pretty much the same finish i don't find the need to spend on the charlotte tilbury but if you want to splurge or if it's something that you've been eyeing i would definitely recommend it's actually a really good product so now these products that i'm going to show you now are more like skincare and they're kind of like random they're not technically primers but there are things that i use under my makeup the first one is this one by super Goop, and this is the glow screen spf 40 so this one is a sunscreen but it has a glow it's very similar to the charlotte tilbury and the nyx primer that i just showed you guys so once you apply it it goes on like this and then once you blend it it gives you a little bit of a sheen this one you could definitely use it alone or you could use it underneath makeup this is the one that i've been using lately because i finished my glow stick which was the clear one that i used to wear before as you guys can see the sheen is not like super super intense but it looks very very pretty underneath makeup so this is the sunscreen that i've been using so this one is gonna stay the next one is the forsali quench moisture this one is a replenishing serum and this is just to hydrate the skin sometimes when i get out of the shower in the mornings i forget to apply my skincare so i like to keep this in my primer drawer and this serum is actually really nice it's very liquidy as you guys could see it's very clear so then you apply a little bit and then you blend it into the skin and it just hydrates the skin and it just gives you such nice healthy finish so this one is gonna stay for sure the next one is this one by elemis this is the superfood sika calm hydrating juice this kind of serums are really good for the morning time because they just hydrate the skin helps you wake up in the morning so this one is gonna stay the next one is this one by wellada and this is the skin food original ultra rich cream so if you have very dry very very dry skin this one is perfect it's such thick cream so when you apply it it looks like this and then when you blend it it's a very very thick cream but it gives you such nice beautiful glow and normally what i do is i'll apply the farsali serum and then on top i apply this and then i just let it sit for a while so that my skin can 
fully absorb it. It is more on the thick side. So if you have very oily skin, I wouldn't recommend anything like this. Also, if you have combination skin, I would probably recommend it to use it more in the in the parts where you're the most dry. This is what it looks like. And I honestly do like the finish that it gives my skin and how moisturized and hydrated my my skin feels every time that i use this if you have very dry skin you need this in your collection it's actually really really nice so that's the reason why i keep this here another thing that i like to keep in my drawer is a toner and this one is by milk makeup this is the matcha toner and this is a solid toner so normally after you wash your face you apply this and then you let it absorb and then you go on with your serum and then your moisturizer so that's the reason why i keep one of each in my drawer another moisturizer that i really like is this one by glow recipe and this is the watermelon glow juice as you guys can see i've used quite a ton of this and same this is just a moisturizer but this one it's a lot more light than the wallet finally is this too this one is the tula skincare glow and get it cooling and eye brightening balm normally what i like to do with this is i apply this in the morning before i do my makeup and and it just helps to depuff the eye area it's very cooling to the touch and it just helps your under eye get a little bit tighter a little bit depuffed so this one is really nice it has a little bit of a color it's not a lot but you can definitely tell and finally is this one by physicians formula this one was featured in one of my physicians formula video but this one is basically the same thing it's an under eye balm this one is also very cool to the touch the only difference is that this one doesn't have any color or anything like that and i honestly prefer this one over the tula one so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna keep the physician's formula one and i'm gonna put this in my donation pile only because i don't reach for it as much i normally always go towards this one instead we're done with the primer so i'm gonna show you what the drawer looks like this is the finished look as you guys could see i got rid of a ton of things and i just kept on this one i kept all my pore filling primers on this one i kept more the glowy primers hydrating primers my spf and here i have my creams and my regular serums and moisturizer as well as my eye cooling balm i got this little set of organizers at target they were five dollars and they actually fit pretty good inside of my drawers so this is what we're working with these are the things that i'm gonna um throw away these primers right here are the ones that i'm gonna um donate to friends and family and then these two are the brand new ones that i'm gonna put in a giveaway but overall i think i did get rid of a lot of things that i was not using and i was not gonna use most of the primers that i have in here they're brand new i haven't tried them yet so that's another thing that I'm excited about because now I can actually see what I got and I can use it. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.